Welcome back to our Plants vs. Zombies series. In our last video, we talked about the portion of the almanac in this game that teaches you about the available resources that you can use, or in this case, plants that you can put down to help defend your domicile across the different terrains. Now we're going to talk about the part of the almanac that speaks to the challengers <coughs> or enemies that you will face over the course of this game. <coughs> As you can see, there's a smaller variety of challenges or challengers that you're going to face, but these same challenges and challengers will appear across most, if not all, of the terrains that you will face. So they give you many, many different ways to approach these challenges uh, relatively few uh, different types of challenges to face and we find that in business as well the challenges that we face tend to fall under a fixed number of categories um, and they can be known uh, even though sometimes it takes a more experienced hand uh, or a more experienced mentor or coach to be able to help you see what challenges are due to come for the level that your business or company is at. So similar to what we saw in the resource section, each of these different zombies has its own entry and some information that is provided about each of them. Now those that walk or amble at the regular zombie speed, they don't tell a whole lot about other than their toughness, which is good to know because toughness is going to determine how many hits it takes to take that particular type of zombie down. So you'll notice as we start, they stay relatively low and then they increase. Um, you know, the more things you find on their head typically means that they are tougher to take down. <coughs> the more metal they have on their person, whether it be a bucket head or a screen door or a football helmet uh, all the way up to a Zamboni machine uh, also means that they tend to be tougher but you'll notice that a number of these have known weaknesses and so if you're looking at the list of zombies or competitors uh, or enemies that you're going to face in a given round it's giving you the opportunity to come to this almanac, see if they have any known weaknesses, and put that into your defense or offense this round so that you can face that particular type of zombie. Now, some more so than others represent a unique threat. Uh, so, uh, balloon zombie, for example, most of the weapons that we have available, even the catapults, don't fight an enemy in the air. So you need, if these are coming, you know you need something that can deal with enemies in the air. The snorkel zombie. If you're in any of the water boards, you're not going to be able to shoot straight and hit them until they're already on top of one or more of your structures. So you're going to need something that can actually fire into the water like a catapult, uh, to be able to get to these guys before they're right on top of your defenses or offense. And then you've got larger guys such as the zombie or the gargantua. These are the largest uh, bad guys you are likely to come up against until the very end. Um, but if you happen to see either of these listed among the enemies that you're likely to face, it's pretty it's a pretty good idea to know that these are extremely tough enemies and you're gonna have to prepare your offense and your defense accordingly so for every board it's gonna give you an idea it's gonna give you an image of the types of zombies that are coming at you in that particular round it would be best to make sure that you're paying attention to those images so that you know what you're up against and you can build your defense and offense accordingly. So, in practice, in business, the difference 
that you're likely to have here is that if you're working with a mentor, if you're working with a coach, if you're working with a seasoned entrepreneur, uh, they're likely going to be able to tell you what types of challenges you're going to face at the respective level that your company is at. If you have one to five employees, there's one set of challenges. If you have 10 to 20, there's another. If you have 50 or more, there's another. Uh, if you're bringing in $50,000 a year, that's going to be one set of challenges. Bring that up to $250,000 a year or $500,000 a year, you've got different challenges at that level. And so knowing what you're coming up against before you have to face it and being able to prepare yourself for those challenges, for that competition, for those potentially bad experiences is going to put you in the best position to be able to survive those challenges, but also for your business to be able to thrive on the other side of those challenges. And so it becomes incredibly important to have somebody in your leadership um, or somebody affiliated with your leadership that has an eye on what is the company like to face, likely to face next, what uh, challenges are we going to have internally? What challenges are we going to have externally? And be able to set your course so that you are addressing those in advance as opposed to having to try and improvise in the moment, which tends to lead to rash decisions that don't always work out very well and could end up having very, very negative impacts down the road because a decision that was made wasn't part of the plan, it wasn't very well thought out, it may not be well received by partners, by customers, by your employees, uh, by your investors. And so you could find that rushed, rash decisions can have a ripple effect in your business um, and cause way bigger issues than it appeared that they could at the outset. So knowing what you're up against as detailed as you can as soon as possible with as much insight as possible is an absolute game changer as you go through the levels of leveling up your business, uh, leveling up your revenue, leveling up your profits, um, and leveling up your people. So thank you for taking part in this video today. I hope you got a lot from it. Um, and I do hope that you enlist resources like this, uh, whether it be a well-provided book, whether it be reference materials available, uh, coaching, mentoring, or what have you, so that your business can see what you're up against, plan accordingly, survive, and thrive. Have a good day.